In this video, by the grace of God, I want to talk about four concepts. I might have to do another part of this video, but in this one, I'm going to talk about love. I'm going to talk about friendship. I'm going to talk about dating. And I'm going to talk about courtship. Now, what is love? Love is when you are emotionally entangled uh, or you are emotionally uh, involved with somebody. Okay, so love has to do with your emotions. Okay, it's very important that you understand that. So what is friendship? Friendship is when you are on the same journey with somebody and you are going somewhere there is something that you have in common okay it may be a friendship it may be a relationship it may be a um um it could be it could be something that brings you together okay it could be um school it could be business it could be money it could be you have something in common and that's friendship. Something is bringing you together and both of you are in, you know. Now, friendship can be very casual. Okay? The Bible talks about friendship. A friend, anybody that will be a friend, you know, will make himself friendly. That's what the Bible spoke about. The Bible also spoke about love. But the word dating, I'm going to read to you. From the dictionary okay so what is the meaning of dating i don't want to give my own definition i am going to read the meaning of dating for you from the dictionary now i need to let you know that the first time the word dating came up it was in 1896 and it was george Adek that used the word in a column he was a columnist you know a columnist is someone that writes in the paper or magazine or something and then he has a column there now um that was the first time the word came out dating he came up first in america then later in the uk so i'm going to read the meaning to you from wikipedia and you know the meaning of what it was when it first came up okay that is more or less like the epitomology or etymology sorry etymology of the word dating okay so let's look at it dating is a term this is from wikipedia dating is a term coined in america to signify the stage of romantic relationship in which two people engage in active together most often with the intention of evaluating each other's suitability as a partner in a future intimate relationship it falls into the cat it consists of so uh, both of them are engaged in an intimate love relationship and they are trying to check out whether they are suitable for each other in the future for marriage that is the uh, first meaning there um so um over time the the word um, dating keep expanding and keep coming up um time and again and in the meaning of dating in America shifted during the 20th century to include a more informal use to a romantic sexual relationship itself beyond an introductory or trial stage prior to marriage. So this is the period you are trying each other. Will this thing lead to marriage or not? Okay. I need us to get that clear. So why um why dating has so many terms i'm still on wikipedia trying to get the meaning of dating um why the term dating has so many meaning the most common refers to a trial period 
in which two people explore whether to take the relationship further towards a more permanent relationship. In this sense, dating refers to the time when people are physically together in public as opposed to earlier the time in which people arrange the date, perhaps by corresponding or email or text or phone. So now you are checking out each other, evaluating each other, doing trial and error to see whether it will work. And this was all in America. Now, later it came up in Britain. Now, in Britain, if two people are going out together, it may mean they are dating, but their relationship has advanced to a relatively long standing. But their relationship, okay, long standing and sexual boyfriend and girlfriend relationship, although they are not cohabiting. Okay, so look at it a male, a man, and a woman, or a, a guy and a lady. Is that would be okay for you? A guy and a lady, they are going out together. And when they are going out together, they are going out together, you know, in a sexual romantic relationship, checking whether they will be suitable for one another. That's the meaning of dating. I got it from Wikipedia. You can go check it out okay yourself that is the meaning of dating now if you check the entire bible there is nothing that is similar to dating in the bible all the marriages that happen and i'm going to take one very quickly from the old testament and i'm going to take one quickly from the new testament now let's take a look at rebecca and Isaac, when that marriage was going to take place, the servant of Abraham, Eliezer, was sent to go um, officiate the process of getting the lady into uh, whether he was going to marry Isaac or not. And the moment Eliezer saw Rebekah and told Rebekah his mission, Rebecca ran home to go and tell her parents that I saw a man and this is what he said. And they invited Eliezer home, questioned him, talked to him. And afterward, they released, you know, um, Rebecca to go with Eliezer so they can marry Isaac. Okay. And then Isaac and Rebecca got into the point where they will enter into marriage. Now, you will notice that their parents are involved. Now, in dating, okay, that is in the Old Testament. Let me quickly pick New Testament. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 1, verse 18, that Mary was espoused to Joseph. Joseph, Mary was espoused to Joseph. The word espoused in Matthew chapter 1, verse 18 means engage. Engagement is the same thing as courtship. And I'm going to explain this. When you are engaged with one another, you are doing a knowing of each other, you are putting things together. To get wedded is the period between when a lady says yes to the proposal of a brother and the period between a yes of a sister to a brother's proposal and the marriage time. Please take note of that. That is engagement period or courtship period. Please don't forget it. So now. Having understood the two, I will not want to just stop there and just give you the meaning of, um, um, of dating from the dictionary alone. I want to say that um, it's important for you to note that 
let's we might need to check the meaning of courtship as well or engagement so let me check the word engagement and see the meaning when someone is engaged engagement engagement for marriage engagement for marriage so i'm going to give you the actual meaning of that and then we see i look so now what am i trying to say what i'm trying to say is that in the bible the bible used the word expo exposed espoused matthew 1 18 which means engaged not dating okay so from um, I'm reading now for the meaning of engagement uh, in Wikipedia. An engagement or betrothal is the period of time between the declaration of acceptance of marriage proposal. You know, the sister accepts the marriage proposal of a brother and the marriage itself. That is the courtship. That's the engagement period. Okay. So, I want you to look at this. So, when we now talk about this issue of dating, it's not in the Bible. What is in the Bible is engagement and courtship. The word engagement, the word dating is not in the Bible. Jesus said, not everyone that said to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of my father. Say to me, Lord, Lord, your being a true child of God is not in saying that Jesus is my Lord. But those that do the will of my father in heaven. Your being a child of God is in doing, 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 doing the will of the Father. So when you talk about dating and you are fighting and sweating about it as a Christian, and it is not in the package of the Word of God, so what are we talking about? Okay, I'm going to give you some difference between dating and engagement or courtship. I'm going to give you some difference. There's a lot of problem with dating. Number one, the guy and the lady, they are going out together in a sexual relationship. Trying whether it will lead to marriage. In the trying, the man is sleeping with the girl. The girl can get pregnant. And then she will abort the baby. She can lose her womb. She can lose her life. In engagement, you don't do that. You don't do that. You wait till your wedding night. Number one difference. Number two difference, a lot of pastors are pushing dating. They said dating is okay. But Jesus said in Matthew 7, 21, it is those that do the will of my father. What is the will of the father? The word of God. And the word of God in Matthew 1 18 says, espoused to Joseph, engaged to Joseph, in courtship to Joseph, betrothed to Joseph, not dating Joseph. So, do you want to follow pastors? That are teaching you what you like to hear or you want to follow the word of God.
no matter what any pastor is preaching, if he is not according to the word of God, sir, the word of God is the final say, follow the word of God. Follow the word of God. The word of God is the final say. No pastor, no matter the number of crowd he has or she has, is greater than the word of God. Nobody, sir. Myself and nobody in the whole world is greater than the word of God. Even God said, I have exalted my word more than my name. Even God exalt his word more than his name. That is God himself. So no pastor is greater than the word of God. No. No. So follow God's word. The Bible did not mention anything dating. It mentioned engagement. Espoused. You can read it on your own. Matthew chapter 1 Verse 18. That's the word we find in the scriptures. That's the word. There's no word like dating when you are trying a lady, whether it will work or not. Number three, will the pastor be okay? The pastor that is preaching dating, will he or she be okay? Will he or she be okay when a man or a guy is taking his lady out, sleeping with the girl from age 22 to age 29. And at age 29, the guy said, this trial and error thing is not working. How will the pastor feel? Will she be happy or will he be happy? You need to ask that question. Meanwhile, in engagement, you involve your parents from day one. You pray, you involve God. You pray, you ask God, God say, go ahead. You are engaged, you inform your parents. You see the case of Rebecca. You see the case of Rebecca. You involve your parents. In dating, you don't involve anybody. You are just doing immorality. Committing immorality. And the next point is that this dating teaching has made a lot of young ladies to be vulnerable to a lot of brothers and unbelievers that sneak into church as brothers. They sleep with them. I mean, somebody just sneak into church like brother, they are asking for volunteers. He volunteer himself. And as he volunteer himself, to be playing keyboard or to be working in the choir. And because they have been preaching dating and dating and dating, because the dating thing makes the lady a lesser candidate to the man. How? The how is that if a man is dating a lady and they are going out together, he sleeps with her. He do every other thing with her and abandons her. Other men will not want to really take up that lady easily if they know about that previous relationship. If they take up that lady, they will want to ask, what happened? Why did you break up? No, None of them want to have use a lady that is already appearing like second hand or fairly used girl. Nobody. In, in engagement or courtship, both of you are on the same level, sir. The man is getting married to the woman. Now, this topic I'm treating is a very sensitive topic. And a lot of people, some pastors may even see this video and they will not like me. Some brothers may even see this video, they will not like me. But that's fine, that's okay. 
but at least somebody should be able to share what the Bible say about a matter and help the young people to know what exactly the Bible say and what is trending is different from what the Bible says. So um, that's what happens. That's why you discover that a lady is usually attaching itself informally, is clinching to a brother. Why? Because they are teaching dating. If you don't quickly move close to that brother now, all the other ladies will move close to her. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Please, by the grace of God, let's follow God's word. If we are going to be involved in this, let's follow God's word. Please, let's follow God's word. The word of God has said basic things about this issue of dating and this is you of being engaged or in courtship. Let's follow God's word. Let's show these young people the way of the scripture. I think I have to wrap up here. And if you have questions for me, you can drop it in the comment because this is a very sensitive topic. If you have questions for me, you are a pastor, you can send it in the comment. I'm open for discussion we can share the scripture together let's see the dating because the dating is a trending thing okay now before i leave dating is when you verbally communicate a, a relationship to i mean no that's not verbally communicating now um proposal is when you verbally communicate to a lady but there's another trend now that a guy will kneel down and bring out a ring and say, will you marry me? After they've been sleeping with each other. And then that has been imported into church. And then somebody will bring ring. If I want us to look at all the situations that exist here. Situation one is when the man and the woman are not born again. They've been going out with each other, having sexual relationship. And then one day, the man arranged and then he started this drama proposal. And he bring out a ring and say, will you marry me? And what usually follow that? Is that they begin to kiss, hug each other, and then very intimate hugging and kissing and all that. Anyway, they have been doing that together. That's scenario one. Scenario two is a situation whereby they are in church. And when they are in church, we are not sure of whether they are doing anything together. So let us assume that nothing happens. A sister you have not communicated with, and then you demonstrate and bring out a ring. And then you come to ask the sister, will you marry me? Maybe in the middle of service or in a program or something. And then you demonstrated and I say, okay, will you marry me or something? Now, when you came up with that, the lady does not know you before, and everybody saying, "Say yes, say yes." Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And everybody saying all of those stuff. Now, the unbeliever that is coming to church for the first time is also in the church. The new convert is also in the church. And also in the church, the believers that are matured, they are also there they will see that and they will look at it that, okay i don't need to pray for any will of god i can just pick a lady and once i just like her 
I just I just do that uh, drama proposal where we meet down with one leg and then I will drink and do all of that. Then where do we put divine leading? Are we helping the future of these young people? And if they have been intimate before they do that drama proposal, what is the essence of doing that when the lady has already agreed? Okay, if you now say, okay, they just want to do it, okay, what damage will that cause to a new convert? What damage would that cause to an unbeliever that wanted to accept Jesus and follow the way of God? What damage would that cause? It will tell a new believer what, because when people don't know what is behind the scene, they will just assume. It damages, it damages the new convert. I want us to, I want us to look at all of these things. I want you to know that the drama proposal, where you will kneel down, you bring out drink, is not really necessary. It is not a sin, but it's not really necessary. Because what follows it after the person brings out the ring and he say, I accept, is kissing. You don't see anybody, they put ring, and when they put the ring, then they will now begin to speak in tongues. Maleko, parata, yakatu, ripa, kata, kata. No. Or they will put the ring, and the person will say, Oh, praise the Lord. Let's open to John chapter 4. Like the, the Bible says, and then we will cut another Bible, and they will cut another Bible. No. It doesn't happen that way. What follows is intimate hugging. Please abstain from every appearance of evil. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 22. It's still in the Bible. Let's help young believers to grow. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that will help our generation in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray amen i'm open for question i'm open for discussion and we can share the bible together thank you god bless you